Okay, next, let's speak about DSA firewall. Uh, we're gonna first introduce DSA firewall, see what are the features, functionalities, deployment modes, and then gonna go to the basic initialization, and then we're gonna speak about NAT as well. So, for different performance requirements, there are multiple models available. We're gonna have both physical models and also one a virtual model. So, if we just uh, go in there, and you open up the browser in here. There you go. I'm, I can say select all, and you can say compare. So we have a lot of files in there, like the ASA 5505, 5506. So the model is being, of course, displayed up here 5505, 06X, 06 Wireless X. And each file has a lot of, there we go, state of inspection throughput, for example. So there's a lot of, uh, it has a lot of descriptions on what is the throughput, uh, maximum throughput up to 150 megs, 70, 700 megs, 750 megs, 750 megs as well. Then you have a lot of other fee, uh, de descriptions, which like, what is the maximum application visibility and control? Like if you enable application visibility and control, the maximum traffic throughput is going to be lowered down to 125 megabits per second. As soon as you enable application uh, visibility and control and next generation IPS, then the overall throughput drops down from 750 to 125. So of course, the more inspections you do on the firewall, the more the the throughput, the traffic that can flow back and forth through the firewall is going to drop down because the file needs more time to uh, more power more power processing and more time to be able to in inspect the packets as required so you have a lot of other characteristics of, of each firewall you can go ahead in here and also as i was saying you have a lot of uh, different models a say 5508 x 12 15 16 25 45 55 of course the higher the number the better the, the better performances and also you have another uh, set of this is this these models are for let's say regular network edges and you also have a more powerful for cvs uh, files which are going to be deployed in general at the data center level or at the edge level but when you have the need for a better performance like for example the 55 85x with SSP 60 that's the um, harder line card it has up to 40 gigs per second inspection and if it go if you go to AVC if you enable application velo uh, application visibility and control and next generation IPS it drops down to 10 gigabits but it's still a lot right so depending on what is the performance level you need you can go ahead and choose the right platform. Of course, the more the more performance is going to be more expensive. Uh, the specific box you're looking for, and also you have the logical firewall, which is the virtual one, which is only one model. Is the ASAV, and you can go in the data sheet. And likewise, look for the performance. There are three models in here. We have ASA V5, which tells you what are the requirements, for memory requirements, and what is the throughput. One gig of memory delivers up to 100 megabits per second of throughput. ASA V10 requires two gig of memory, one gig of throughput, and ASA V30. 8 gig memory up to 20 gigs of throughput. 